It's easy to think that the hardest part of the process is identifying the molecule and validating the target and doing the clinical trials. But the reality is, it is just as hard and oftentimes even harder to make sure that the molecule that is shown to work can actually be manufactured in quantities that are sufficient for everyone who needs it in a consistent manner and make it accessible to everyone who needs it. Can you give us a little bit of an update on the engineering design and stuff? Yeah, well, one of the responsibilities of Global MSAT is actually to serve as the glue uh, or the point of contact for all the other sites around the network that are owned by Roche and Genentech. Regardless of whether the product is actually made in Europe or made in Asia or in the United States, you're going to get a continuously monitored, well-executed and delivered on uh, process -y. So basically what this project involves is allowing some flexibility in our supply chain. We have lots of technical experts and I think you can imagine it can be pretty challenging pulling folks who are experts across the world to come collectively together to problem solve. Because I really think that's where our skills are highlighted. Once the material is used by the filling facility, the tanks have a validated hold time. In transferring a process throughout the world, you need to look at all different kinds of variables. That could be different kinds of water, different kinds of material of construction of the tanks. It could be different flow rates, different energy outputs to actually run different pumps at different speeds. You need to make sure that this is all consistently done to the other plants that make the similar drug. Our crack engineering team has already performed a series of mixing studies. Consistency is key, because it shouldn't matter if it came out of site A versus site C. In the end, it's the same drug that the patient gets. You cannot stop the pursuit of understanding your molecule and your process in the product well beyond the initial discovery and the development because you're constantly going to learn new things about your molecule and the product and you need to apply that learning back to your manufacturing process and make sure that the quality continues to stay at the highest possible level. We hear a lot of stories here at Genentech from actual patients that communicate back the impact that these kind of drugs had on their lives. And that's what really drives us to meet those timelines and, and deliver product. The impact of the work we do is, is phenomenal. I mean, the work we do is highly impactful to people, uh, the society, uh, and the quality of life of everyone. I can't imagine that it gets much better anywhere else.